In this video, we're going to see how the scale tool works and we're going to see how to scale a sphere. First, let's start with the cube. If I select it and click on Modify, Scale, a scaling point appears. That's that little circle at the corner. And I can scale this several ways. I can drag the arrow, or I can type a scale factor, and that scales it. Let's go back into the tool. If I want this cube to be a certain size, I can also enter an equation for the scale factor. For example, right now, this cube is 25 millimeters on all dimensions. If I wanted it to be, say, 75 millimeters, I would type in what I want over what I have. And now it should be 75 millimeters. To see if it is, I'll click on Inspect Measure and click on the corners. And there we have it, 75 millimeters. Using the Measure tool is also good in case you don't know what the dimensions are starting out. I don't have to scale an item uniformly. I can also scale it non-uniformly. Just click on this drop-down arrow click on non-uniform and then I can choose the axis along which to scale it. Now if I try to scale this sphere this is what happens. I get this box but I can't do anything because when I click select no point appears to scale it around. I have to do something first. Click on Construct and point at center of Circle, Sphere, Torus. And then select it. Now see what's happened? A scaling point has appeared and I can just click OK. And it's there. So if I select it and then click Scale, and then click that point, now I can scale it. And there you have it.